Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Cheryl Ting. Uh, before I start this video, can I ask you a favor to please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the red box here, dito po sa side na to, and that's it. And para naman po dun sa mga nakapag-subscribe na, maraming maraming salamat po. And welcome to my secret files. May nabasa akong isang short letter and I really like the story and I wanted to share it to you, to our listeners because I know na alam kong may mga pinagdadaanan din kayo na maaring pareho ng storya niya. Ako yung nauna pero siya ang wakas. He was my college crush. Sa kanyo ko naramdaman ang sabi nga nilang slow motion. Nung unang kita ko pa lang sa kanya, every day since day one of college, I keep on admiring him. Until he noticed me. We dated and finally make it official. Until we graduated, passed the board exam, and finding out what's life have for us. I got a job offer abroad and he remained in the Philippines. We were in love, I'm sure, until one day when he cannot bear the conscience of betraying me with the girl whom I admire him too, like I did back in the days. The girl knew he had me. We broke up. He made her the official girlfriend. But then, he kept on coming back to me consistently. Stupid thing I did was to agree and make his affair. I love him so much to take all the pain on my side. Whenever I'm coming back to the Philippines, we still do the usual things we're doing as a couple before. It took me three years after the breakup to finally let go. To finally had enough of all his lies, of all his assurance that he loves me. I ended up putting him on my block list on my social media accounts and really put our communication to an end. I still find myself, up to this day, wishing that maybe sometime in a day, he thinks of me. I love him so much, but I was never enough. I was all his first, but ended up as a memory to him. In life would repeat everything, I would still choose to love him. Still choose to bear the pain and will willingly accept getting hurt just to let him know how much I love him. But in the end of all this, if I would still be not enough, I would still be happy letting him go to her. Her story is an example of unconditional love, somehow. Uh, a forgiveness because of what he did to her. But in the end, magsasawa at magsasawa kay, Mapapagod at mapapagod ka. May mga tao talaga guys na dapat nating tanggapin na dumaan lang ito para magbigay ng lesson Matuto tayo, pero hindi para magstay sa buhay natin. Tandaan natin na kung sa tao ngang hindi para sa atin, ay naging masaya tayo. Dun pa kaya sa taong para sa atin kapag dumating na ito. Kasi mas pinili niyang magparaya, mas pinili niyang magpatawad kahit na alam niyang siya ang nauna. Hindi mo pwede kasing ipilit ang isang bagay kapag hindi na talaga pwede. It's a symbol of ano, unconditional love because 
uh, mas priority niya yung kasiyahan ng taong mahal niya kaysa dun sa pansariling kagustuhan at kasiyahan niya. This is a hard part, but this is the only thing para makalaya ka dun sa mga tanong na meron ka sa isip mo. Hindi kasi guys pwedeng kapag ka may mahal ng iba yung tao is ililet go mo na lang, you have to fight for it kahit pa paano. Pero kung sa tingin mo na wala na talaga at nabubola ka na lang niya tulad nung sinabi niya sa story na nag-end up yung mga lies na realize niya siguro oras na din para bitawan mo yung taong mahal mo kapag nakikita mo puro kasinungalinga na lang at puro alibis na lang na mahal ka niya napaka mature nung decision niya na palayain yung taong mahal niya kahit na mahal na mahal niya pa ito at kahit na alam niya siya ang nauna Dahil mas pinili niyang manahimik na lang kesa makipag-argue pa with nonsense fight na alam niya namang kasinungalingan lang ang lalabas sa bibig ng tao. Dahil nasabi niya na nga sa, sa letter niya na alam niyang lies lang. Kaya in-end up niya. Parang nagising na lang siya sa isang, sa isang umaga na na-realize niya na yon It's a sign of maturity kapag ka kapag ka, nagpo-forgive ka na lang and letting the person na pakawalan kesa pilitin pa itong mahalin ka dahil ang totoong pagmamahal ay hindi pinipilit at hindi hinihingi. Ito ay kusang ibinibigay ng taong nagmamahal. Huwag din natin kalimutan guys na kapag may taong nawawala sa atin, meaning may papalit na much better. Uh, this is a chance and opportunity para magbukas ang bagong pintuan para sa atin. Sometimes, yung mga bagong taong dumarating sa buhay natin is much better kesa sa relasyong naiwan natin. So, it's a chance, it's opportunity para makilala pa natin yung tao talagang nakalaan para sa atin. Kung sa tao nga na hindi para sa inyo ay naging masaya kayo, papano pa kaya kapag dumating na yung taong nakalaan sa buhay nyo? So yun lang guys yung video natin for today. So I hope nagustuhan nyo ang ating munting session and nakapulutan natin ang aral. And guys, again, I encourage everybody sa may mga untold story na nakatago dyan, uh, you can share it to me and bigyan natin ng buhay ang inyong story para makapag-inspire din tayo ng mga tao na meron ding parehong pinagdadaanan na katulad sa inyo. I'm pretty sure hindi lang po kayo nag-iisa sa story meron kayo. Nasa description box po ang aking uh, Facebook account, Instagram account, and email kung gusto nyo ng more privacy at ayaw nyo makita ko ang inyong mga beauty sa inyong mga Facebook and Instagram, nandyan po sa description box. And guys, if nagustuhan nyo po ang ating, ang ating video for today, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, shout out kila. Okay, Miss Cynthia, thanks for a lot learning from you. Love you, Miss Ting. Thank you, Cynthia. And gusto ko lang malaman mo na simple ang beauty mo, pero ang lakas ng dating, parang napaka-beauty inside and out. Thanks sa mga advice and tips mo. More power and God bless. Thank you, Jen. And kay Francisca Mandaraog, nice and witty approach to problems from viewers putting yourself in one shoes. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Francisca and Kay Jessica, good morning sis. I'm always watching from Dubai. God bless you. God bless you too sis. Thank you so much. And also Kay Lenny Reyes, very pretty. I love your advice. Thanks Lenny. And, and Kay Elma Lara, hello sis. Good morning. Love you. I love you too sis. Stay tuned. So guys, palagi tayong mag-iingat and palagi tayong manalangin. Thank you for watching guys and see you on my next one. Bye!